Hey guys, welcome to Coding After 30. Are you wondering what's the best programming language to learn this year? Well, there's a lot of options out there, but you know what's even more important than that? It's actually just starting with one. The most common mistake out there is to try to do everything at once. The truth is you need to spend three to six months just learning one language. And it really doesn't matter which one you learn because all languages have the same similarities. They all have variables, they all have functions and objects, if statements, switch statements, and everything else in between that you need to develop a foundation to be able to understand any other language that you decide to learn in the future. Most likely, you're not gonna listen to my advice, but believe me, when I tell you I wasted a lot of time trying to learn five languages at once, that would be an understatement. One of the best things you could do is actually spend more time on learning less things. I know it sounds like it's counterproductive, but it's actually one of the most important lessons that I learned in my journey in learning to code. So for the next three months, my challenge to you, just choose one language and spend and immerse yourself 100% and learn everything you possibly can to build as many projects as you can. And I guarantee that in three months, you will learn more than you would after one year of jumping from language to language. If you don't believe me, just try this challenge. And remember, I'm not going to get any benefits out of this. It's all for you. So what are you waiting for? Just do it. So if you're looking to get into web development, the language of choice is obviously JavaScript. Not only can you learn how to work with the DOM and create amazing things with pure HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but it will also open up the doors for using other libraries like React, Vue.js, and even Angular. Now, if you like video games and you want to get into game development, then your two options are C++ and C Sharp. Now, depending if you want to use Unity or if you want to use Unreal, that will dictate which language you'll be learning. Now, you can make games with JavaScript, but most game developers choose Unity, not only because C Sharp is a great first language to learn, Unity also gives you a lot of benefits, especially if you want to make indie games. Unity also allows you to make games for iPhone, Android. I even have a friend who uses Unity to make apps for iPhones and Android devices that have nothing to do with gaming, and he does it all in Unity. Not to mention that you could use C Sharp in web development as well. Now, if you like a more human readable language, and you don't want to deal with the semicolons and all those brackets, Python may be just for you. Or you're just more interested in machine learning and working with big data. So don't miss out on Python. It just might be what you're looking for. My first language that I really fell in love with was PHP. A lot of people give it a bad rap, but the truth is it's easy to learn, widely used, and if you're looking to do freelancing with WordPress, then PHP is right for you. Another language that I have no business of learning is Java. There's many reasons to learn Java, especially if you want to make Android apps but it's also an enterprise level language and a lot of big companies look for Java developers. Now, just because I don't like it doesn't mean that it's not gonna be the right fit for you. Now, what's interesting, the five languages I mentioned, they definitely sit in the top five. I mean, we could argue about the order, but according to Stack Overflow, we have JavaScript sitting at number one, Python sitting at number two, Java at number three, C Sharp at number four, and PHP at number five. Now, this obviously changes, but the truth is starting in 2020, any one of these five languages will be the right choice for you when you're just starting out learning to code. So pick one and dedicate the next three months doing as much as possible. Dive deep, learn everything you can and build something awesome. And when you do, don't forget to share it here with us at Coding After 30. Now, if you started learning a language and it's not on this list, don't worry about it. Just remember, make sure that you put in at least three months spending as much time as possible and learning everything you possibly can. Because remember, like I said at the beginning of the video, a lot of the programming languages share a lot of similarities. So once you spend some time and really understand one language, switching to any one of those other languages will be a breeze. So let us know in the comments what language you chose to commit to for the next two months. And before I go, I just want to say learning to code is not easy. It's quite difficult and don't let others fool you that say, oh, you could learn this and do that and make a bajillion dollars after two months of study. The truth is everybody learns differently and it takes time. One thing I could say for sure, nobody's born amazing. We all start the same way and we all start by writing our first line of code. So what you're waiting for? Get started. Go to your computer, open up your editor and start writing. Make something awesome. And once again, thanks for watching. I'm Paul from Coding After 30. If you enjoy this content, it really helps me if you like and subscribe. So thanks again and I'll see you guys next time.